Hello you beautiful creatures and welcome to Rise of the Tomb Raider. This is the PC version. I'm going to be running it at 1080p. I wanted originally to um, record this at 1440p just to sort of uh, stretch this beautiful game's legs and see what YouTube was all about. You know, I wanted to see those glorious, glorious, probably full day uploads for me. Um, but between the PC port and my PC itself, I was having to switch off far too much and turn down far too many of the graphics options um, to try and get even a semi-reasonable frame rate at 1440p. Um, I could manage up to sort of 40s to 50 frames per second in some places, although the frame rate tanked down to 30 to 35 in a lot of other places. Although, again, there I, I'm a little more inclined to blame the port. Um, and so that wasn't good enough, um, and it was with like ugly low-res textures and stuff like this. So I would much rather have um, a very pretty 1080p than an ugly 1440p and uh, a much more stable frame rate over a not quite good enough to definitely not good enough frame rate. This Let's Play is going, or should be, blind. The only issue is that I've seen roughly the first hour or so of the game in my attempts to uh, tweak this and get it running properly. So, yes, I'm going to overwrite that. I'm going to play on Seasoned Raider. Uh, I, I don't want to go the full hog with Survivor, but I don't want it to be too easy as well. So let's hope that this is uh, a reasonable challenge for me. What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience to face the unknown? As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money is going to get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's going to be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Not a chance. It's amazing, but the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. The trail leads up the mountain. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. All right, let's take it easy here. No shit, Sherlock, the trail goes up the mountain. God, look at this game, it's gorgeous. You just need to keep moving. Oh, you're losing your foot there. There you go. There you go. And the snow! Oh, the snow and... Oh, it's bloody gorgeous. Bloody gorgeous. Um, yeah, my co my commentary is going to be stunted a lot in this early section of the game because these two won't shut up. V-Sync is on. Can we stand up in here? Oh, yes, we can. V-Sync's on. There's um, those those little FMV... Well, not quite FMV, but those little um, video sequences are locked at 30 frames per second. So while I'd rather V-Sync was off and uh, not have the game capped at 60 frames per second, um, because at parts, you know, it's, I was happily going over 100, and that's just a, a nice buffer. Um, the screen tearing on those sections was horrible, so uh, V-Sync it is. find anything up here your dad would be proud I know but I have a good feeling about this and I'm playing with the steam controller yay steam controller getting its use as a steam controller not just like 
using it as a controller, which is really all I've done so far. Um, so it's kind of mimicking an Xbox controller, but also um, with mouse support. So I've got mouse look for uh, funky, funky stuff like this. Way bitrate. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely. The issue is that the keyboard prompts, there, sorry, the key prompts that show up on screen um, are still for keyboard buttons. It's like press F to do this, press E to do this. And um, I don't know what keyboard buttons are mapped to what buttons on the pad. I just know what the buttons on the pad roughly uh, do. I know that, you know, uh, A is my jump and uh, X does stuff. <laughs> and, and Y is like swing your axe and stuff like this. Um, so when it tells me to press control, um, it can be confusing. But other than that, Steam controller for this game is fucking gorgeous from what I've seen. There you are. It was press E to dig your axe in there, but I don't actually know that E is on X, I just know that that's, that's the button to press. Climbable wall, wee bonk. Oh, get ready and jump and hook. Oh, for fuck's sake. She, she did this last time. There we are. Now she wants to jump. Got you. Shit, Laura. Okay. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on. Looks like we gotta go through. I don't know what the actual view distance here is, but the effect is amazing. It really looks like you can just see for miles and miles and miles. And the Dragonborn's going to be up there somewhere, Fusro dying us off the mountain. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just his last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. <sighs> Feels pretty solid, but keep close to the wall. Okay. Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. Right. You ready? Let's do it. Yeah, that was another frame rate chug just before she jumped. Thank you very much. She was saying let's take this slow and steady, but 
she was going up there like a rat up a drain pipe. You know, I would hate to see rushing. Not to mention the crazy grip strength one must have for these uh, ice axes. I don't know, is that normal for mountain climbers? Mountain climbers, hit me up. I mean, the effect just now is basically Spider-Man, well, Spider-Woman. The tension, the excitement. Jonah, we made it. I see the ruins. Oh, God. not close enough. One more. Wee Bonk. Oh. Balls. One more. Will she make it? Will she make it? Will she make it? Of course she will. This is part of what I know about the new Tomb Raider games. This kind of frantic charging onwards, running away from calamity sort of thing. We have a strong, capable female lead character um, in Lara, and we're going to prove that by beating the shit out of her at every opportunity. Frame rate, fuck. Oh, oh, ah, she did not make that. She jumped on nothing. So yes, um, two things I know about the franchise as it stands these days, uh, although again, blind playthrough for the most part, is one, um, those frantic moments of running away from something, uh, and two, some sort of survivally crafty, handmade, homemade bow and arrow sort of thing. But other than that, I don't know what to expect. Um, I've not played a Tomb Raider game since the original trilogy, the original Tomb Raider games. It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. 
A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. I saw the gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was unwell. No. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh, God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb. <laughs> Oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. You both. Damn, bro. Shit, they weren't supposed to shoot at us. Get us out of here. Shit, shit. No, no, no.
No turning back. It has to be here. Now, what I hadn't realised the first time actually was that uh, frame rate. Come on, game. Come on, game. Pick yourself up. Is that that's the way forward? You know, that's what leads her into the tomb that she's looking for, which she only found because she fell down this fucking cliff. So it was kind of fortuitous that she fell down here. Um, otherwise, she'd have been screwed. I mean, fucking gorgeous. And I'm talking about the game. Sorry, <clears throat> ignore the fact that you know Lara's bums there. Sorry, that was that was not intentional. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I'm not always that juvenile. Um, gorgeous, although... Ooh, Siri is unlucky. One thing I noticed and absolutely loved in that last little cutscene with, uh, with Lara and Anna was uh, the eyes... Sorry, that... Damn it! <laughs> you, you pan it round and just there's bum. Hello, bum. Um, Lara and Anna's Eyes, can you no that's boobs. I'm trying to get eyes. Can we can we get the eyes? Can we there there's an eye almost there we are, eyes. They're they're shiny and fantastic and wonderfully animated. I noticed that Lara wasn't uh blinking a lot because she was determined and focused and strong and Anna was bleary eyed and bloodshot and she was blinking a lot because she's nervous and scared and wow. Video games, eh? There was something in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the Forgotten Cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. I saw the ledge. Uh, this this screwed me up um, before. I'll, I'll get into it in more detail, but I just saw this ledge and I thought, I wonder if I could walk out onto the ledge and get a good view of the, the valley down there with that... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That really odd shadow work. Oops. And then there's this item here. Is this an item? Oh, fat loot. icon. Detailed and inlaid with gems. It looks Byzantine, perhaps... 10th century. It fits with the legend of the prophet. Hold left mouse to adjust camera angle. Uh, ah! I was going to say, I don't know what left mouse is. Oh. Cool! I didn't know that was there. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, well, there's a benefit to playing this part of the game so many times after all. <laughs> 